Hi guys, welcome back to another hot sauce review. Today we have two new to me sauces. They are both from Small Axe Peppers out of the Bronx, New York. But you'll see the ones that we have here today are the Oakland and the Los Angeles. Why, if the company's out of New York? Well, did a little research, you know I love to do that. And Small Axe Peppers is a unique hot sauce company in that they pay local community farmers, so people that have like a pea patch, things like that, um, in urban settings to grow peppers, so to set aside part of their garden to grow peppers. And it helps subsidize and keep the gardens going because um, most of those are, are nonprofits. In fact, I think probably all community gardens are, but we'll say most. Um, so it's really difficult. They usually rely on donations. This way they can actually make a reliable profit by growing peppers for this company. These, as you can imagine, are from um, the Oakland area and Los Angeles. So the Oakland we'll start with is uh, called California Raisin. And it's got raisin in it, which I'm pumped about. I don't think I've had a hot sauce with raisin in it. Although interesting, um, because Blake has made like homemade A1 sauce, there are raisins in A1 sauce, if you didn't know that. So we'll start with the Oakland. The ingredients are apple cider vinegar, jalapeno peppers, serrano peppers, raisins, garlic, carrots, salt, brown sugar, and smoked paprika. And yeah, a little bit about this. The Oakland hot sauce is made with peppers grown in community gardens throughout Oakland. We partner with nonprofits and community organizations to purchase fresh, locally grown peppers from Oakland urban farmers. Your purchase directly supports the gardens and gardeners who grow peppers for this hot sauce. And then, of course, you can visit the website to learn more. I'll put the link in the description. I like that the seal says, heat that helps. That's a cool slogan. Mmm, metal lid. That's unusual. Mmm, garlic right off the bat. Very strong garlic smell. And kind of a, a wider mouth bottle than a lot, a lot of uh, your standard hot sauce bottles. She's a thick girl. Come on, you can do it, baby. Here's what we're gonna do. This is the trick. There, we oh yeah. Very chunky. Chunk alicious. Look at that. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm mostly picking up garlic. And of course, the tang from the vinegar. That's always a strong smell. Let's see. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. The texture on that is awesome. Like you saw, it's very thick. It's very chunky. Heat level, I'd give it a one, maybe a two at most. Yeah, it says, um, of course, you know, a lot of hot sauce companies have their own heat index. So theirs goes to five peppers, this one's a one. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's just a good everyday sauce. Okay, so this one is the Los Angeles, which is a habanero mango. Again, ingredients are apple cider vinegar, habanero peppers, sugar, garlic, onion, mango puree, blood OJ puree, tamarind paste, and salt. I love all of that. That sounds great. Yeah, so they have hot sauces for different cities all across the US. Um, Small X Peppers sent me these two since I live on the West Coast. They thought I would be interested in that. It'd be cool if they eventually had like a Seattle hot sauce. That would be fun. Maybe uh, some sort of apple-based one. This one looks thinner. What am I smelling? 
Interesting. It smells like tomatoes, but there's no tomatoes in it. Must just be the mix of the peppers and the tamarind and everything. All right. And of course, peppers and tomatoes are both nightshade plants, so there's that. It's got a really pretty red color. And yeah, you saw the pour, much thinner. Mmm. Mmm. It's really bright. Oh, <coughs> hit the back of the throat. <coughs> it's not that hot, I promise. I just hit my throat rug. <coughs> but yeah, he. <laughs> I feel so silly. Um, he. It's probably like a three. <clears throat> Here, I gotta clear my throat now. It feels a little scratchy. I like got a seed stuck. Yeah, so this one on their five pepper scale is just supposed to be two um, out of five peppers. Yeah, I'd give that a heat level of like a three, three out of 10 for me. And the description is the same as the Oakland, just that <clears throat> they worked with community gardens in Los Angeles. And they highlight some of the farms that they work with and the nonprofits that are associated. So definitely check out the website. All right, we gotta try these on food. And I think both of these are gonna pair really well with what I have today. And I just heated this up in the grill, so I hope it's not too hot temperature wise. I don't make my burritos particularly spicy. I like to add, add the heat. It's fun to get like a bunch of hot sauces out on the table when we're having burritos. You can try all sorts of different flavors. All right, we'll try our California raisin on this first. I love the texture of this. I wasn't really picking up the raisin too much. Let me try just another, another dab. It's definitely in there, but I do like that about these sauces. Most of you guys know I don't like overly sweet hot sauces. It's just not my jam. Lots of people do. It's not my thing. So I love it when people incorporate fruit into their sauces, but it's still more of a savory sauce. And that's what they've done here with both of these. Mmm, cheesy goodness. So yeah, this is just ground beef with taco seasoning, rice that I cook up with some salsa, black beans, cheese, sour cream. I think that's it. Pretty basic. But I like it that way, because then you can just pile on even more layers of flavor. Whoa, whoa, settle down. <laughs> it does look good though, doesn't it? I want it. All right. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. The vinegar really cuts through the fat. Mmm. And with food, the sweetness of the sauce is more prominent. Mm. Mm -mm. Okay, let's see which we like better on a burrito. <clears throat> Gotta be careful with this one apparently. So I don't choke myself again. Mm. Okay. So I'm not surprised by this, but the uh, habanero mango definitely pairs better with a burrito. This one is great on it. It just, um, this is a little more of a classic sauce. This one, 
I think would be really great with like cheese and crackers. And you don't even have to do fancy cheese, although I think it would be awesome with brie. But you could just do like cream cheese, quite frankly. Mmm. Okay. So I I don't think I can pick a favorite. They're very different. So I yeah, I don't know. Again, uh the California raisin I'm gonna say is a one out of ten heat. This one's like a three for me. I really like them both. So on a, a flavor, if we're looking at like five stars here, mm -hmm, I'm gonna say the mango habanero is a four. Four out of five stars. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm gonna say that the mango habanero is a four out of five stars. And again, if you watch my reviews, it's not because it's not a great sauce. It's just, uh, this one is superior. And I say that because this one's more unique and I love a unique sauce. This one, solid, classic, love it. You can put it on everything, but I, I love the texture and the originality to this one. Definitely have never tried anything like that before. However, this is gonna go better on my burrito. So <clears throat> check these out. Remember the website's in the description and that's the review, but you can stick around and watch me eat the rest of my burrito if you would like. I have been getting to re review some great hot sauces lately. I feel so fortunate. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I don't know though. I'm gonna have to put more of this on there too. I really like it. I am definitely gonna have to put this on cheese and crackers and I do have some brie in the fridge so we are in luck I got really excited at the grocery store the other day I always check the cheese section to see if there's any man manager specials or clearances and there were like three different cheeses that were 50% off so I bought them all Mm-hmm. This one definitely builds. Really good habanero flavor. Habaneros are such a great pepper because they're so fruity. They have that nice heat, but they're so fruity. I don't think I've ever had a habanero and been like, wow, this is bitter or ooh. Ben is still dying over here. Mm. Love it. I honestly think I would order hot sauce from this company and try some of the other cities that they have. It's such a, a cool idea for an, a hot sauce company. I love that they're helping out nonprofits and the flavor is great. They clearly put a lot of thought into this. <clears throat> so yes, with that, I'm Katie Prettyman, the world's okayest competitive eater. And this was my review of two of the Small Axe Peppers hot sauces. And I hope that you have a great day. Bye.